Well, welcome back to my Transport Fever 2 mini-series, The Making of Northumbria. And last time around, well, I uh, built the Rothley Lakes. Yep, that's as far as I got in half an hour. <laughs> hmm, it's a bit of work needed on these things, and not one of the hardest things to work on is actually finding where all the rivers go. We'll just bring the interface back up and let's have a look at what are we going to look at the contour lines layer hmm yes yes our lowest point is over here uh, at 83 meters whoa now i'm not sure if you're familiar with how water is shown on maps standard transport fever 2 maps so what we'll do we'll just keep the assets for a sec so that we don't lose them and we'll just have a quick look Ooh, what are you doing isn't this going to bugger up everything ah well it's saved anyway so what the heck all right what we want to do yes is have a look at where transport fever 2 places rivers righto okay contour height is ooh, well that black line there is basically zero meters so all the water that's shown on a transport fever 2 map is at sea level well there's a problem yeah i know because here we're not <laughs> doesn't that look hilarious yeah here we're not at zero meters we're that much higher so that means we can't have um, real water right okay what are you going to do about that <clears throat> good question we have to fake it and when we fake it we fake it with paint as we did here with the lake and the other problem with fake water is that the AI might decide to do stuff to it. It won't here at sea level with this water, real water. But, <clears throat> yeah, okay, let's reload this map again. Right, right, we're back, and our lowest point is, let's start there, over here at the River Coquette. Yes, you can see where it winds through here and around there, over to that point, yep. But we can't do the zero metre thing because that's way down here. We've got to do something at 83 metres. Righto, show me what to do, Stephen. Well, if we look closely, we can see sort of where the river runs around here. Uh -huh. So by taking our flatten tool, oh, righto, and dropping the brush size right down to, let's say, well, it's fairly wide here, so that's cool. Give it a fair bit of strength. Yep. And just go flatten, please. Oh, okay. And wiggle. Wiggle, yes. Wiggle your way along. Uh, this looks interesting. Well... Make sure you stay at the bottom here. Wiggling, wiggling, wiggling. And up. Yeah, okay. And along. Um, so you're still at 83 metres here, but this is at 88. Yes, well, there comes a point where you have to take the new height. So let's take the new height. We'll keep working with 88 now. Uh, okay. And come around. Hmm. Not liking what I see. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. You know why? Well, look, this is 99, 98. 
Well, that's fine because I know that. See, that says 91. Okay, 91. What happens here? Well, there's actually a weir across the river. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's fine. So we'll t we'll take this this one here, which is at 98, and we'll just keep coming with 98. Right. Okay. Um, that says 95. All right, we'll bring it back at 95. This is never going to be accurate, but we'll get it as accurately as we possibly can. I just might swoosh that brush size down a little bit and pretend that that's our weir and our waterfall over the weir. Righto, okay, all right. Okay, keep coming back up here and bonk the buck brush size back up. 95, and we'll just keep 95ing all the way along here. Why 95? Well, it's still 94 up here. Mm, okay, all right, just keep going. 95, we can see roughly where the dotted line goes. This bit we'll ignore, but it comes along here and up here and down there. And we're still at 95, see? Okie dokie, I guess I can see all of that. Yep, alright, so we just keep following this grey line where the, we can see where the river runs. Uh, you think? Oh, it's okay, don't panic. Don't panic, he says. Uh, and up and down and around and how's our height here 98 well you could 97 no look just take the 95 all the way through fair enough i'll do that and there my friend is a nice flat river channel for you uh that goes yeah, well, that's a bit of a thing there, isn't it? Well, bring it down. Okay. And what have we got? 89 and 83. We'll go halfway. I'll be about 85. Yeah, okay. And do 85 for a little bit. I mean, I can imagine that it would be steep and flowing briskly around that corner. And then we can drop a couple of meters and just keep running it along here okay well that looks reasonable doesn't it i think so all right let's get out of that view for a sec uh no before we do that let's paint the river in please paint the water w-a-t-e-r uh, water dirty okay um 18 all right, now, that flat area that you made, right, uh, paint it. Okay. 33, and just paint it. Oh, I can't really see it. Yes, you can. It's fine. Just keep coming along and around and keep doing that. All the way along. Righto, okay. Yeah, stop talking and just do this and speed it up so we can see what happens. Okay, I'll do that. Oh, no, we'll stop it there for now. Uh, we've still got a lot more river to go. But you can actually see where the path of it is supposed to go now. Okie dokie. All right, now what? Well, back to the terrain tools. Go over to the smoothing tool. Drop the size down and the strength, definitely the strength. Drop the strength right down to 0 0.2. Yep. And then come along the edge and just smooth out the edge a little bit. 
Okay. Uh, you're wrecking up the water here. I know. I know. We'll get back to that. You've got to be careful, I suppose. You don't want to get too close to the edge of the water. You just want to smooth it out somewhat. This is tedious, isn't it? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. The painting of rivers is not the best way of doing it, but it's certainly fine. Okay, I'll believe you. Yeah, what about that bit? Uh, we'll get back to that. Don't worry about too much about it. I don't... Oh, there's a bit of water up the hill there. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe you might want to bump the strength up a little bit with these steeper sections. What happened here? Uh, I think we've got a bear along the riverbank. Never mind, he'll be fine. Don't panic about him. All right, just keep going along the edge of the river. Get rid of these uh, unnatural looking bits. Okay. The whole lot looks pretty unnatural at the moment. Yeah, well, you just sit here and play. You know, you're painting. You're painting the river in. Just take your time. Smooth out the edges. I don't. Smoothing away. And we're down into the rocky bit. Okay, so we'll leave it at the weir. Right. Just come around here. Now, you've got another creek that runs up there. Oh, okay. So, uh, where's it go? Somewhere up that way, by the looks of it. Have a quick look. Uh, probably about here. Bends around and heads uphill. It's a bit deep, isn't it? No, don't worry about that for now. We'll come back to that. Uh, right, okay, paint. And this is a little creek that comes up here. Yeah, I'll just put that in there for now so that we know roughly where it goes it reminds us wow that looks pretty gooey doesn't it look you're panicking over nothing I, I'm glad you think so <laughs> well it'll be fine don't worry about it now okay so we've got that part of the river in right Come back with your flatten tool, right, and come along and smooth out the water. Just very carefully bring it along. Get rid of those horrible bits right on the edge. Come past it, actually. Okay, and see we've gone up the riverbank there a little bit, don't worry about it, just drag it out flat, put a little bit of a riverbank in, as long as you don't get those white cliffs. Oh, I see. Yep. And just keep tweaking, keep tweaking it all the way along. And basically what you end up with is what looks to be a flat area of water. Uh -huh. Yeah, we don't want that. We don't want water going up the bank like that. So you just come back over it and flatten it. Oh, you went too far. Did I? <sighs> back over to here. Move it back down a little bit along here oops back to the flatten tool 
yes, there are going to be some areas like that that you need to tweak, play with. Not going after perfection here, it's just obvious spots. You don't want to be climbing up the, uh, the riverbank, like that one that's directly in front of us there. Maybe that one. If you don't like it, of course, you can always go over to that tool, the erase tool, and kill that bit. And kill that bit. But you're going to be forever doing that. It's much easier to flatten it back into the bank. Flatten the water. Yep, if you get it on the right angle so that you've got the reflection happening beautifully, you'll see the bits that don't work very easily. Um, I'm thinking that one needs to be painted, sorry, erased. Yeah, didn't work for me. a bit high. And maybe there. Okay, back to the terrain tool and the flatten tool. Bit more tweaking. Oh, gee, right. That was over tweaked. No, it wasn't. Let me just come back in and do that again. It won't hurt to have a bit of bank showing. Okay, a bit of paint will fix that. A bit of paint. What would you paint it? What colour? Uh, well, hang on a sec. We'll just zoom up here. Okay, can I suggest forest ground? That's the one, not green. Okay, and then you can just whiz along. Well, probably a bit strong. No, not too, definitely not too strong. Paint over it. You can leave a little bit of the white stuff poking through, if you like. Okay, so why the forest ground? Well, if you can remember back over the lake, we did Rothley Lakes. Yep. Where are we? Over here. The moment we painted the trees in, oh, these things, yep, those, <laughs> sorry about that. The moment we painted the trees in, that forest ground came right up to the water level. Okay. So if we put trees along the river, the exact location of which, by the way, we can uh, sort out. Don't forget by looking at our maps. But if we were to paint some trees along the edge of the river. Oh, okay. It doesn't look anywhere near as bad now, does it? And that horrible bank there, let's get rid of that by covering it up. Well, fair enough. You've come a bit wide there. Aha, have I? Watch terrain tools, flatten, come in, flatten, ooh, better than that, let's um, delete, right -o. it's almost looking like a river, you think, I think it's looking quite nice, paint, water, dirty, Paint. Boost the strength somewhat and we can get rid of some of this grass. Not going to get rid of the forest green though, because that's where the trees are. See, I can paint on that, it's not going to do anything, but I can paint over the grass that's poking through and clean that up. And now we have, oh, we have a couple of bits of grass poking up. Not a bad looking section of river, really. Okay, there's a lot of work that needs to be done then, isn't there? Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, but this one, I think, 
Yeah, we could probably tidy up this grass in the middle a bit more too. Bump it up, Max. Actually, that one, that brush, would be better because it's got a sharper edge. This one is a blurry edge, whereas this one's a sharper edge, which means you're getting closer to the edge and clean up this grass a lot better if you get the right brush. So there we go. That's the start of the River Coquette. There's another one that flows up through here and around here. And again, you'll need to... Looks like it splits here. Yep. Again, you'll need to go back to your maps to work out exactly where it goes. But this time around, we're not going to paint the water in. Okay. I'm going back to paint tools. I'm going to go dark. Grass dark green. Okay. And what I'm going to do is simply use the paint tool. Could you go bigger? Probably could. We'll get that. Just paint in roughly in your dark green. Checking your heights. 27. Go something like that. Yep. Roughly where you think this river goes. Then when you go look at this view, okay, it's not blue there. Does that matter? Not really, because we're going to come back to our trees again and draw a line of trees along the riverbank. In this case, it's just a representation of where the river runs. Uh, from a distance, it will look fine. It will look like a river, I think. Well, you've got that river to go all the way up there. You've got creeks that come all the way over here. You've got this one that comes... Yep, yep, let's see. Back there, all right, from there. Paint tools. It comes down from there. This little creek, or burn as they call it in Scotland or Northern England, comes down here. Following the topographic lines, uh, this looks like it goes like that. Comes around and joins up there. Ooh, okay. There's another one that goes like... Okay. Somewhere through here. Hang on. I think you stuffed that up. I think, I think I'm pretty sure I did, actually. Now think about it. Okay. Check these. 140. No, we'll go back to... Grass dark green. 128. Okay, so it's the middle of there and goes up and around. And you just keep 134, 136, 132. So you can initially plot. Okay, just kill that. Back to here. Uh -huh. I'm guessing, is that lower or higher? That's 
that's a higher bit. Seven, one fifty three, so come down there somewhere around. I'm doing this very, very quickly. I, I spent a lot of time consulting the maps when I was doing it for the real map, but I'm just doing it quickly to give you an idea of what to look for. Bending, we can see it's bending around here and going up. Following all the grooves in the contours up to here, where are we here? I think we're at the dam. By gosh, I think you're right. Uh, yeah, yep, yep. All right, so that's the river font up to the Fontburn Reservoir. Okay. And there are many other little creeks and streams and burns that you could, like through there you can see that grey line there's there's one I think that one's heartburn you can follow him through all the way down and around down that way um, I know there's another one over here somewhere at Middleton down here I just can't see it very well but you can plot using green paint and blue paint where all the creeks and the rivers are on the map and then spend as much time as you like once you've done that flattening things out with the flattening tool naturally um, avoiding ripply bits along the edges like that I think would be a good idea. So flatten it out and then paint it blue, water, dirty watercolour, cut on, and then with the smoothing tool, come right back. boost it a bit if we can do that. A bit more strength. More strength, thank you. And come in here just so we're just touching the edge of the uh, river without doing that. <clears throat> Sorry. Okay. And then wending your way all the way along and finishing off with trees. Now, you've got areas that are going to be like this. Uh, yeah, well, there aren't really waterfalls there, are there? Uh, no. All right, so what do we do about that? Okay, well, let's just clean this up a bit upstream and a bit downstream. Yep, and get the smoothing tool right down low and just tap and all of a sudden you've got from a distance okay from a distance something that is reasonable you just don't want this paint going up the side of the like that okay back to paint tools back to there and clean it off tree tree yeah and, uh, uh, crank it right up and erase anything that's coming up the bank that makes it look dodgy like that bit there, I suppose. And that's how you handle the transitions between the um, one level, 
that was at, what was it, 80 something? <clears throat> 83 meters and getting up to 84 meters up here and 85 meters here. Paint tools back to the water. And then paint over it. Get rid of the grass. You wouldn't have grass on a fast flowing section like that. And then spend. I don't know, uh, a lot more time <laughs> on the rest of the map, right, definitely a lot more time on the rest of the map, well let's um, hit pause for a sec, I'll load up the other, the real map and we can have a look at that, I know we're back on the final map and this was that part of the river that I'd just painted in green and um, by dressing it with the forest ground all the way alongside the creek and trees and everything else i think this looks reasonable the trees certainly help frame where the there's obviously a, a creek flows up there too but um, i didn't think it would be worthwhile including so we've just Put some trees there to suggest that maybe there's a little creek heads up that way but back over here at uh, the river coquette bit of road yes that trees along the edge of the field trees along that part of the river there there's another one heads up here that i've lined with trees and that helps hide the uh, quite rapid increases in elevation as it heads up here uh, if you were to go in and look closely it's not a pretty sight but from a distance it's cool are they reflections or are they white bits in there Stephen uh, sh stop looking <laughs> oh, that's a pretty steep climb that one yeah I know you're not meant to look at that it's it's good from a distance <laughs> So <clears throat> that's step two, is to go through and decide what rivers and creeks and lakes and so on you want to paint in. And, and the way I did this one, I, I could see roughly where it was. Uh, I went over to my map and drew from, I think it was this point, drew these streets out to get the dimensions according to the map. So that's almost 400 metres, and that was... 370 meters so do all of that <clears throat> come in you can see that we've got a slight problem here with the leveling Stephen oh look it's fine it'll be fine we should have just made sure I'll have to go in and adjust the, the map itself because lakes aren't like, oh my gosh. Lakes should be perfectly flat because that's what water does. Fair enough. <laughs> that's better. There will be slight changes at that point there because that's where it flows out of the dam. But, <clears throat> hey, that's it. And that is probably, I would say, the hardest part. You can see I've done nothing here except poke uh, a bit of green paint up along the bottom of where this watercourse is supposed to go. Same with that one. Just a bit of paint to give the hint. And then painted the terrain around to make it look like it drops down into the into the river valley <clears throat> into the bottom of the watercourse look and, and as far as the painting is concerned you will be the one that will work out what best works for you just remember that forest green is um, probably a good one to use where are we paint tools Forest ground. Get the name right, Stephen. 
forest green. I've got that one. Why are there two? I don't know. Let's have a look. That doesn't look like forest ground. It doesn't, does it? Don't know what's going on there. But the vanilla forest ground. Oh, you actually lost the river then. I did, didn't I? The map. Maybe I should just paint around the edges of it. Yeah. That would that'd work better. Maybe not do it on full setting. Um, maybe not. But as I'm saying, the painting, <clears throat> that's up to you to get the effect that you want. And you'll get it wrong a million times over and then you'll come back and you'll do it again. So, <laughs> Oh, good luck with it all, I tell you. Painting water is fun. And the thing you'll notice with this particular map, there are a hell of a lot of streams that I've had painted in. That one, there, and down here. All of these have been painted in. Basically, wherever you see... No, that's along a road. Okay, um, through here? Yeah, there's a stream there. Right. The stream um, over here, wiggly, wiggly, wiggly. Yep, up through here. The normal transport fever two map does not have even this little one. Look through here. Yep, the normal map doesn't have all of these waterways. There's no representation of that sort of thing at all on a normal map. It's just do it and have a look. Uh, generate. Let's go. What about the one we just... Don't worry about it. We're not going to save it. Yay, 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 yay. I hope not. Okay. Um, that doesn't work at all, Stephen. Yep, sorry, it doesn't. The point I was trying to make... <laughs> Well, I don't know what point you're trying to make. Well, the point I was trying to make is that the only rivers that Transport Fever 2 includes are the ones that are at zero height. It does not go back into the hinterland at all with streams or anything else. If it's not at zero metres... Um, <clears throat> can't leave it there, man. You really can't leave it there. Okay. Okay, we're back. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Isn't there a huge difference? Oh, yeah. Huge difference. All right. Well, what comes after the, you've added the water and the um, the trees along the waterways? Well, once you've got them in place and know exactly where they are, you'll be able to work out, well, almost work out where the roads go, or at least the ones that follow the rivers. So I think that's probably the next step. So we'll start and try and work out where this road goes along here. We'll look at our original um, maps from the National Library of Scotland and do a little bit of measurement because I spend a lot of time with these with these guys. I mean, I know there's a bend in the river there. So what I can do on the National Library of Scotland map is measure up to wherever the road itself goes to determine the exact point. So, a bit more triangulation to come as we can work out roughly where the roads go. So that's next time. And uh, if you enjoyed this one, then, hey, make sure you click that like button. And if you want the next one, make sure you subscribe and ting the bell. And uh, we'll see you then, okay? Uh, in the meantime, oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. the good thing about this part of Northumberland is lots of this stuff is more country, which means uh, no trees, perhaps just painting. I don't know whether this looks like more land, but it's getting rather high over here. Hmm. Not too sure I like this camo effect, so uh, 
some roads, a lot of painting of ground to get shading and ground cover and mm, ground colour too, for that matter. But that's for a later episode. So I'll catch you then. All right. Hooroo for now.